Now, if you majored in any of the humanities, like history or philosophy or religious studies, you probably got sick of the question, so what are you going to do with that degree? Never mind that humanities graduates have comparable employment rates as everyone else, and never mind that humanities degrees make way more money than high school graduates and only slightly less than higher paying majors, everyone assumes you're going to be unemployed for the rest of your life and you keep getting that skeptical question. What are you going to do with that major? Well, today we're going to focus on three famous people who got their degree in religious studies, just to show that you have options if you decide to major in it. First, we have Rashida Jones, who graduated in 1997 from Harvard University with a degree in religion and philosophy. You may know her as Karen in The Office and Ann Perkins in Parks and Rec. In a recent interview on the Stephen Colbert Late Show, she goes into greater detail about her major, though she did joke that the degree didn't get her that much. What did you study? Um, I studied the com uh, comparative study of religion. And has that helped? No! <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm gonna agree with Colbert here that if you're a famous actress and comedian, I'm gonna credit that to the religious studies degree. I'm not biased at all. Next, we have Justin Vernon, better known as the singer Bonnie Iver. Bonnie Iver has written some of the biggest musical hits in the past few years, like Holocene and Skinny Love. Your major what? was? Yes. Uh, religious studies. Okay, so religion and women's studies. Did you just go into the registrar and say, just make me feel guilty? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Stephen Colbert interviewing all the famous religion majors, but whatever. In an interview with one of Bonnie Vare's former professors, Dr. Charlene Burns, she said that the world of religion resonated with him, and he's a deep thinker and very caring, and that he was moved by the suffering of people in this world. So I would personally be very curious to hear about how his studies of religion influenced his music, if at all, but there doesn't seem to be much about this online in the interviews with him, so I'm just gonna have to wait to find out. Finally, we have John Green. Now, if you've spend any time on YouTube, you've probably heard of John Green. He is the author of the best-selling book Fault in Our Stars, he's one half of the wildly popular YouTube channel Vlog Brothers, and he's a personal hero of mine for his work on Crash Course, which is an educational YouTube channel that's covered literature and American government, astronomy, physics, human anatomy, basically all the classes you would expect to see in a high school curriculum. Though I'm still waiting for a comparative religions course. Just saying, no reason. My schedule's pretty open if you want to contact me. But what you might not know about John Green is he got his degree in religious studies from Kenyon College. In interviews, he described his initial interest in religious studies came from an interest in Islam, specifically Islam and Christianity. And in his commencement address to Kenyon's 2016 graduating class, Green fondly remembers Dr. Don Rogan, his former religion professor who had died earlier that year. He said even though he forgets most of what he learned about phenomenology and gospel redaction theory, his time spent with Dr. Rogan had a deep impression on him. In fact, after college, he served for a short time as a hospital chaplain before moving on to author, producer, and all-around YouTube tycoon. So there you have it, three famous people and three religion degrees. The moral of the story, if you major in religion, you'll become a famous YouTuber. That's not really true, but it could be true. So I'm curious what you guys think. Did I miss any famous religion majors? Do you think it's a completely useless degree like underwater basket weaving? Leave your comments below, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.